It took me 28 m years to realize that I've been the problem in all of my relationships. Long post warning. Not sure if this is the right place for this, but I see a lot of negative posts here on this subreddit and reddit in general, so I want to give my anecdote of success. I'm currently in a relationship with the best girl 28, f I could possibly be with. We hit it off very early on, and were amazing for months. For the last month or so, however, we've been arguing non-stop over issues that I felt were important, but she disagreed on. I took this that as her not caring about me and my feelings, and pushed us to the brink of breaking up we actually did break up, but for just a few hours. I was angry, sad, hurt, petty, jealous, insecure, and depressed. I knew I needed to get better but blamed everyone else, and life, for my issues. After this and some talks with some good friends, I realized that I needed to adopt a drastically different view of my life. I had massive issues with insecurity, retroactive jealousy of my girlfriend's past partners, general jealousy, anger, resentment, and fear. I realized after intense retrospection that most, if not all of these issues stem from my upbringing and life experiences since then. Family. I have a twin brother so naturally my parents always told us that they never favored one over the other. However throughout my entire childhood, he was given preferential treatment, and generally was favored. He received more expensive gifts, was given leniency for his transgressions, and in general was allowed to make poor life decisions and was not chastised by my parents. With me, however, I was constantly told that I was ducking up, making terrible life decisions, and generally made to feel like I was inferior to him in every way. I was diagnosed early on with ADHD, which made me feel like a freak. My parents used this as a way to justify their treatment of me, and F's me to stay heavily medicated to alleviate my burden on them. It took me years to realize that my parents are narcissists, and lived their lives vicariously through me and my brother to make themselves feel better. To this day my parents are sad, self-centered ashoals who continue to chastise me for my actions. Social, all throughout school, I was teased, bullied, and made fun of for every possible reason. I was slightly above average height and build, played sports, and got good grades, but felt intensely that I was useless, underperforming, and a general failure. Friends I made ended up either stabbing me in the back, or moving on to people who were cooler or more successful. Relationships, I didn't have a girlfriend until my senior year of high school. As most first relationships go, I thought she was amazing and treated me well. I lost my virginity to her so naturally I assigned a great deal of importance to s time, and intimacy early on. However, this girl would constantly compare me to her ex, his personality, his success, and especially his physical appearance. She said he was hotter than me, had a bigger DCK than me even breaking out a magnum scene dom and saying we don't need these, they won't fit you. My penis is above average, which I should have been super comfortable with, but these things she said crushed me and put a block in my head for over a decade. In the end, she ended up cheating on me with an older, more attractive guy. Every subsequent long-term relationship I've been in has been fraught with jealousy, insecurity, and fear of loss. I never fully trusted my partners, and always thought that she was with me to pass the time until she found someone better. This ruined all of them. I was involved with women who were emotionally abusive, and reaffirmed my belief that I didn't deserve anything better. This also led to an incredibly unhealthy view of S time. I tied S time solely to emotional connection, and severely judged my partners for having passed casual S time Yule experiences. I hated people who engaged in casual S time, 
but engaged in it myself to justify that I'm a piece of s it just to fit my mindset. My current girlfriend knew this, and has never stopped reassuring me that she's with me because she loves me for who I am physically, emotionally, mentally, everything, but the same issues kept persisting. This all came to a head when I nitpicked an insane amount of small details about her spending time with her friends, causing her to pull away from me and tell me that she couldn't be in a relationship with someone like me. I judged her for her s time mule past and treated her like less than she was. I was devastated and turned to anger to justify my feelings. I spiraled out of control and lashed out at the world. Military, when I was 20, I decided to drop out of college and join the Marine Corps after my family ran out of money to continue paying for school. To me, this was alleviating the burden that I was placing on my parents, financially and physically. When I brought this up to my parents, my father told me that I was a quitter, and that he would disown me and cut me off from their support and my inheritance. Despite this, I enlisted anyway. I was an infantryman in the Marine Corps, and through my deployments, I did and saw things that caused me to question the nature of my life and whether or not I deserved to live. During and after my service, I went through crippling bouts of depression, but locked it away because I didn't want to be seen as a pussy. My training and near-death experiences taught me to over-analyze all situations to prevent myself from being harmed. This played absolute hell on me and anyone I became close with for years after. Now, it took a lot of self-reflection over the past week for me to realize that for starters, I need professional help. All of these presenting issues have much deeper underlying roots. The main conclusion I came to is that I was validating my subconscious and learned belief I am ashamed of who I am and will never measure up to anything. It took the love of my life leaving me for me to realize that I wasn't healthy. I remember going to a VA hospital after leaving the Marines and speaking to an old veteran who told me, it took me three failed marriages for me to realize that I was the one with the problem. This never resonated with me until the moment that my girlfriend broke up with me. I cried and couldn't function for an entire day. For so long, I believed that I was inherently useless, would never amount to anything, and deserved to be unhappy. My girlfriend came over and we delved into my past in detail and discovered that all of this came from these specific points that I outlined above. I torpedoed every healthy relationship I was in because I thought I was a piece of acid. Today, I came to the realization that I'm the problem. I refused to address these problems for years, and have been unhappy ever since. I feel like I just woke up from a nightmare, and have my entire life ahead of me with this amazing, beautiful, supportive woman. I'm by no means cured and still have a long way to go, but I'm confident in myself and who I am now. Redditor's Reactions Redditor 1, Low self-esteem and self-destructiveness are two of the most dangerous self-deceptions and you've done really well to realize that these are causing you grief and deciding to combat them, so many people aren't brave enough to face up to them. Find a good therapist, Perhaps the Marines can suggest one. Also, a little trick which I found that helped with low self-esteem. We often talk to ourselves, in the privacy of our heads, in the way we'd never let anyone talk about a friend of ours. You need to learn to be your own best friend and, when the negative thoughts come along, you say to them cut it out, you have no right to say those things they aren't fair or right or true just as you would defend a friend if someone came along slandering them to you. When you learn to care about yourself like you'd care about a friend, you start protecting yourself from the thoughts that other people imprinted on you. It also helps if you identify whose words the negative thoughts are, is it your mum's voice? Your dad's? A bully? 
Give the negative thoughts the correct face and it'll make it easier for the inner you to say you always spoke bullshit insert name, it was never about me it was about you projecting onto me. Get lost. Redditor 2, I also am dealing with pretty close to the exact situation. Family, school, work, and relationship. My girlfriend is my world and my angel. She's that beyond amazing support system at a time where I feel like I'm truly alone in this cruel world. And I've been nothing but a trash person to her. Arguing, yelling, and just making her feel like trash, and not absolute beautiful. I had to sit back and evaluate myself like how you did, and I came up with the same underlying truth about myself. For people like us, life will always be a struggle with ourselves mostly. Every day will be a battle against the man in the mirror trying to destroy us. Like you said, tell those thoughts to disappear and be positive whenever those thoughts come in. There will be days we blow up or the feelings boil up to the point we can't control it anymore, but just keep going back to what she has and keeps doing to fight for you also brother. Praying you keep the good fight for her and most importantly, for yourself. Redditor 3, first and foremost, I'm proud of you. It takes a lot of work to come to those kinds of realizations. I hope you are able to heal and move forward as a stronger person. Second, thank you. I'm 30 and I've struggled with relationships because of my upbringing and the life experiences I've had. Up until now I've thought of those kind of attributes jealous, insecure, feeling like a piece of acid etc. as things that are now just a part of who I am. It's actually an issue in my present relationship, and one that has me on thin ice with my GF. I've never stopped to think that maybe the relationships I've been through ended because of a self-sabotaging, self-fulfilling kind of mentality. But I can see it now. And I can see now that it's in my power to change that. And I will. Redditor 4, but how do you know when you're the problem in the relationship? I know you explained how it was for you op but I wish there was a way to know if you are the issue in a relationship. Thank you either way and I'm glad you're doing better. Redditor follow up, the way I see it, is when the relationship is ending you can always ask, why? Listen to each partner's previous complaints of you, listen to why they are leaving you, listen to why someone may not want to date you. Just listen. And if everyone's saying the same thing e.g. you're way too pushy clingy jealous, odds are you've got something you may need to fix to be in a healthy relationship. It's also take a step back and listen to yourself. Think about the things you've said to partners and really listen to what you're saying. Ask yourself, how would I feel if someone said this to me? How would I feel if someone said this to me every day, every week, every time I did X thing? Redditor 5, congratulations. You have taken the first important step. Most important to recognize that rather than just blame yourself, you must figure out what is a healthy relationship with everyone you love and what you need to change within yourself to have a healthy relationship. Once you actually start changing yourself, your relationships will change around you, and not always for the better or easier. Be always aware that your goal is health, not blame. Some people around you may not be interested or able to interact in a healthy way. That's okay, it's not your fault.